one of my first experiences with my father. And I mentioned this in my book, Diary of a Believer. But I'll go into a little bit more specific here. On Earth time, November of 2010, about 12.35 p.m., I had prayed in my car. I was in my car and I opened up my heart. And the next thing I knew, an angel took me by the hand, led me across the heavenly realm, through the sky, through space and time, breaking all barriers, learning things I never knew. I knew how to command light to move. I knew about new colors, new feelings, understanding the constructs constructs of the universe, but never boasting in that knowledge. All I felt was love. And as we traveled through that space in that time, the next thing I remembered was opening my eyes on a whole new world. I was standing in a green valley with the grass tall and the tips of that grass lit with light amidst a purple sky and a gorgeous sunrise. Across those valleys, three valleys away, I saw a hooded figure in white. I knew right away who it was and I prayed, I wanted to open my eyes, but my imagination just was pushing me through more dimensions than what my spirit was saying. And when I opened my eyes, he wasn't there. The next thing I know, I felt a hand on my shoulder. around to face him and his face was shrouded in light and I said I don't know what I said but he said to me accept this as my gift to you I've loved you for so long you are my child. Would I not do this for you? And I knew, as his spirit told me, this was a world he created for him and me. His word says that in my mansions, there are many rooms, but the room is not a place with four walls. It's a world. <laughs> and my world is called Hamea. That was the name of my world that he created. The universe, space, time, all intricately placed specifically for a purpose so that the earth can be that we could be born and accept him and at the same time he uses that to create his homes for us in the spirits for each one of us the new jerusalem will come to this earth as the word proclaims something special for each one of us oh, you don't know you don't know it is awesome he sh he took me by the hand took me across those valleys a 
on top of the cliffs, which my spirit revealed as the cliffs of Koron, of the heart, looking over a crystal sea, a sea that was so smooth, it was beyond description. And looking at a sunrise, and that sky was just brilliant. Adam and I, and I sat on that shoreline for what seemed like months, arm in arm, just watching the glory of his creations. It was incredible. Was I actually there? Abandoning the spiritual reality and just analyzing with the carnal mind. I believe that it could be a vision because the visions of the Holy Spirit are much greater. You actually think they're more real than, than what you conceive as real as a human being. But he has a new life for all of us. His life is him. His gifts are incredible. Oh, I hope you get this. I hope you experience something like this. Because he has opened up the doors for us to receive this revelation. All of us. Let me say a prayer with you right now. Close your eyes and let this sink into your heart. Father, my heart is open. My spirit is your spirit. You gave your life so that we could walk to you and we are here with you. As you are with us, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts and the essence of who we are. We don't want what you, what you give us. We want you for who you are. We love you, Father, so much. Amen. Great night. May God reveal something special to you tonight. Tomorrow is a great day. And all because of him.